All right, so now we're gonna etch our circuit board. The way we're gonna do that is with this PCB etchant solution from Radio Shack. This is sold at every Radio Shack in the country. It's about 11.50, I believe, for a 16 ounce bottle. This should get you through probably eight different etchings. Um, the directions call for a um, the etchant solution to be poured into a tub to a depth of one quarter inch. And so what I have here is my tub that I'm going to pour my etching into sitting in a larger tub that I'm going to pour hot water into that I have heating over here. The hot water is going to speed up my etching process significantly. If you don't use hot water, this process can take uh, almost 45 minutes, but it should be completed in 30 to 35 now. And so we want to etch the board all the way down to the fiberglass layer, as you can see with this circuit board here. So the photoresist has been removed from the designs here. So this is just the copper design. Um, but all the way around it, there is no remaining uh, copper. So we have these clean lines all the way around. And so you want to etch all the way down to that point. You'll notice that some areas will, um, the copper will etch away quicker than in other areas. And so one way to combat that is to get a, um, a liquid baster and um, or just any sort of uh, pipette and pull the etching up in the pipette and spray it on the areas that are not um, etching as fast as you would like them to. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to pour my etchant here in at a depth of one quarter inch. It's better if you use a smaller tub because you have to use less etchant. Using this tub, this is probably only going to get me through about three etchings, actually. Now I'm going to pour my hot water in to the larger tub in order to heat up my etching. So that the hot water increases your etching not only by um, heating up the reaction, but also by um, creating convection currents within the etchant that will etch through the copper faster. Okay, now we should be set. And you just want to monitor this process as it goes. It should take approximately 30 minutes. So I'm going to put my recently developed circuit board into the etching. Here we go. And so in terms of agitation, you only want to agitate the circuit board probably every three to four minutes for a good 10 seconds. Because if you agitate too often, then um, then you will get cavities eaten out under your photoresist, which is definitely something we do not want because we want the walls of our devices to be perfectly straight or as straight as possible. So just slight agitation every few minutes. And you can pull it out and rinse it off just as in the development process in order to check um, check the etching process and see how much longer it's going to need to be in the etchant. With both of these processes, both the development and the etching processes, um, they are irreversible. And so if you go too far, especially with the development process, and you develop away some of the resist that comprises your design, um, that circuit board is 
not going to work for you and so you're going to have to redo the entire thing so that's why it's best to pull, pull out your circuit board rinse it off with distilled water as often as possible so you don't so you, you're able to reach the optimal development and etching times i'll check back in when this is done